And welcome back to another adventure. Uh, today, I'm out here at another, uh, where is it? Right down there. Um, down at another uranium mine uh, with Jonathan today. And uh, we uh, kind of struck out on the upper at it. I was expecting the upper at it to be dry and the lower to be able to be gotten into, but um, or vice versa. But um, we are at the lower at it and it is uh, flooded. We need uh, waders, but um, he, Jonathan was able to slip down in there and he's getting all wadered up and I got my waders on. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, slip down in there and uh, we'll show you the inside of this. Right, we are down inside. Um, I already made the, made the tour, um, making some other format videos, but oh, there we go. Um, it is currently about waist deep. Uh, I'm glad I brought the waders today. We knew we were going to need it for another mine, so uh, but it ended up being for the better on this one too. We've got some uh, uh, stakes in the side here. They're pretty frequent um, that they were hanging um, hanging their uh, ventilation in. We do have a bunch of this quartz. Uh, it's all marbled with some sort of purple, a little bit of red right in there. Uh, but I haven't seen any yellow. In fact, well, like I said, we've been through it before and I um, didn't see any yellow in here that would uh, uh, suggest that this was the same sort of ore as the other mine. Um, but it's still a, a pretty cool one to check out. Keep it focused here. Uh, about knee deep now, but it's a pretty good size, uh, pretty good size tunnel here. I think they were using wheeled um, or tracked uh, equipment in here because there's not a not any um, rail or sleeper ties or anything like that in here. Uh, it seems like my light's dimming out. Yeah. That's probably why. There we go. A little more light there. I think I had it on the lower setting. Um, we've got a piece of ventilation pipe. There is a bit, of, a bit more of that throughout this. Um, the stakes in the in the back here are pretty big. Uh, quite a few of them. Like I said, there's one there, one there one over there so they were pretty frequent with them and uh, this whole this whole tunnel um, is f full of this really sparkly whether it's pyrite or mica or something um, but there is just tons and tons of it when we get to the get to the working face um, you'll see some more that's pretty amazing and we've gotten dried up here a little bit now and headed back to, uh, uh, there's a branch up here a little ways up and we'll follow that. Um, pretty straight tunnel there. It doesn't, uh, it looks like they knew right what they were going for. And, uh, We'll keep headed back here. Here's that branch. Um, kind of goes straight ahead, off to the left and off to the right. Uh, the right being the most, the most uh, extensive. Uh, it goes around that way, but you can see this vein uh, that comes down through here is all that white and purple and stuff. Uh, lots of drill drill holes where they drilled it and fractured that off of there. Um, there is some some water running out of one of their drill holes here and then it looks like they tried directing it out of the way with that pipe there. Um, this is probably airline. Um, there's a flexible fitting for some air uh, for the drill probably. We'll go ahead and head this way to the to the main stuff first. And as I come around the corner here, you'll get a little bit of a, a surprise because uh, 
not often are there hills inside mines. Um, got what looks like probably some deck cord, some blasting cord there, uh, wire there, and a little more ventilation pipe here. And we climb this hill here. Like I said, it looks to me like it was uh, either a wheeled, a wheeled vehicle or a, a tracked vehicle that came up through here. You can kind of see the tire tracks there actually on the sides. Oh, got really excited uh, when we first came up here. There's a lot of that white and purple in here. Lots of this really uh, flaky pyrite stuff. I don't know. I'm sure somebody knows better than I do. Uh, but I thought it was going to come into a, into a cross level here. Uh, focus up here. And it kind of does uh, faces out here. So it's kind of just a just a little stoke chamber. Um, you know, that looks like there was tracks, but uh, then to get back to here, and this was pretty much the the face of it here. Not a whole lot to see. There is a lot of that um, broken pyrite and um, kind of purple marbled in with the in with the quartz and then we've got this probably uh, I don't know if that's decomposing granite or what there's a nice big big rock of it and you see that white uh, white quartz right next to the purple quartz smoky quartz maybe and uh, the pyrite in there with it so pretty cool one here and then we'll head back down uh, there are just all kinds of intersecting veins um, to this one they're really really fractured and heading off into every di different direction uh, but it is a, a very shiny shiny mine there's another big uh, that see if uh, a little less light some more but that's all that pyrite and stuff in there um, there's a bunch up in there too. It doesn't doesn't quite seem to come across as well on the camera as it does in here. Um, you'll turn around and shine your flashlight, and it looks like a bunch of mirrors shining back at you. So, head down this hill here, and head back to the other two little branches there. They're not as extensive, but still worth uh, checking out. Get into a little bit of this gray, gray green um, stuff right there. And they got into that on the other side again too. But uh, here's the straightforward branch, probably just blasted in here, um, exploring and then uh, used for storage or whatever um, there are a couple of I don't think that one's a can I think that's a piece of pipe but uh, there was some some can over there uh, there is one dynamite box in here I uh, can't really tell and you can tell it has um, it, it does have the uh, dovetailing on it. I was trying to see, almost looked at like at one angle, I could almost see where it said something. You can barely see it there. DuPont, okay. That's good. Get a couple of pictures of that. A uh, little DuPont box. There's a, another piece of it, a block of wood there. Uh, like I said, we get into some really gray looking, um, it's almost sand under your feet and a uh, big green vein there. And so it kind of looks like 
whatever it was they were after pinched out um, on the on the left hand drift of this one so but yeah it was pretty cool i was trying to get up to this one when i got up to the uh the other uranium mine in the area and because i had hiked all the way up to that one uh without my waders and had to make the trip back down to the car and back up again um it took up a lot of time so i wasn't able to make it up to this one but uh, me and jonathan decided to head back out here today and uh, take a look around and see if we could find anything open on this one and and sure enough we did there is the where did it, where is it there it is the first sign that i've seen of some meta otonite that really fluorescent yellow stuff there uh there we go that's a little better but yeah it's got some yellow uh like highlighter color to it so i'm sure that's probably um, the meta otonite leaching out of the rock but unfortunately no crystal formation so uh, yeah so another one first uh first mine explorer of the year and uh, we were getting a little discouraged because the uh the upper at it didn't work out and I uh, got down here and expected it to be flooded to the roof, and, and it wasn't. So uh, we'll uh, catch you. It's going to get loud here again with the water and everything. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, should be a pretty good year for exploring once the weather gets right again. And we'll see what we can do in the meantime uh, to keep the, uh, keep the videos coming. So thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.